guys. We continue here in Hollywood Lights with the geeks from the movie Mall Ducks next to me. How are you today? Run. <laughs> hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. It's a girl. You the girl? I'm feeling superb. How are you? Fantastic. She's a pretty girl. <laughs> Thank you. So, geeks, how, guys, you cheating in the game? That's true. No. They don't cheat. They're really? dumb. Listen, the principles of physics exist for a reason. Using physics is not cheating. And using our brains, our, our very large medulla oblongata's to our advantage, it, it's not it's not cheating. Okay? They cheated. How come uh, muscles you, is, are cheating? Not all of us have muscles. Well, not all of us have brains either. And we have brains. Do you have brains? Yes, we do. They're really big, and we just had a more creative way of winning, and they just can't deal with it. High five. <laughs> what do, you, do you have a brain, too? Because you look like a model to me. No, they're just dumb. All the teams are dumb. Mall dogs have fleas. jack o rack is whack. And the Persian cats, they get ate by the dogs. Oh, be careful, be careful. They'll, they'll beat us up. They'll beat us up. No, we like you, teams. The teams are nice. We're so, they're nice. We're smarter, <laughs> always. Okay, guys, so let's go back to the reality. Tell me a little bit more about you guys. What is the new project? Taran, tell me a little bit what you're doing this year in 2013 and you're working in this movie in Moldak. Layla, of course, you are amazing as always. This movie, The Strip, uh, AZ and Zeus, they put together a great project and a great cast, and I'm really actually proud that I get to be a part of it. They created a role for us to be involved. And as a comic, a comedian, and an entertainer, this is like the dream to be in movies, to be funny roles, comedic roles in movies. And while I do my project at the Laugh Factory every Monday at 10, shameless plug, well, I'll put that aside and get to be here too. Cool. So Charles, tell me what are you doing right now this year in 2013? So I have a radio show called Imperfect Gentleman Show. It's available on LA Talk Radio and is a show on iTunes. You can get it on podcast. Definitely check it out. And as part of the brand, I'm used to dressing in suspenders. I don't know about the whole nerd look. So it's been somewhat of an experience to step into this character and something that's definitely new for me. But I do enjoy being a nerd and I enjoy growing out the fro just for this movie. So it's been a great experience. Do you ever play bowling before? I, I've, I've played bowling a bit. I won't say that I'm the best, but I got a little something. Every now and then I'll get a strike. I'm a lefty, so I have an interest in so Lee, tell me, or let me move a little bit here. Lee, tell me what are you doing right now? Well, I'm on a new HBO series called Hello Ladies, airing September 29th with Stephen Merchant, a comedy. And I also have a couple films that are coming out in a couple months now. And Do you dress in like this for the girls in the show? No, <laughs> no, no, they're all different. Um, yeah, in one of them, I'm like a bully. The other one, I'm like a shirtless frat guy playing football on the beach that gets into some girls and it's it's been fun and you know it's about the modeling modeling's my background so that's still going well and um no, you don't look like a no i don't think so i don't think so either he takes his shirt off okay he walks around he walks around the dressing room with no shirt on for that reason and don't get it twisted layla the geek look look this is sexy right now this is it. I'm not gonna lie, it looks all right. You know, looks I think great. I saw a few women on set staring at it. So <laughs> and this is a girl's fantasy. A guy who can who can fix your computer? Come on, that's sexy. Women, they don't want just looks only. They want a guy with mind, good yeah. smarts, and hair. Lots He's of hair. Expert. He's an expert. You need to check out Imperfect Gentleman. He's an that. expert. I would love gentleman. to have you as a guest sometime. <laughs> I would like it too. So tell me something. What is the more exciting part of the movie? The part that you guys fighting with other teens? What what's the most you like about the movie well oh, go ahead. well i was gonna say the fact that him and i you know we, uh, we have an offset friendship and we got to explore that on set and that was like my favorite part is that i get to be on a movie with my best friend that's that, awesome that worked out, like that was my yeah, favorite and part. probably our best scene together was actually improv so having that experience bringing our natural energy and friendship and translating it into film was a great experience for us a lot of fun and just seeing how it naturally flow together even outside of character as nerds maybe we had nerds in us all along we're not as cool as we think we are you know what do you think lee what do you you like the most in this movie uh, i just love working with ali and zeus you know working with them in the past and now in the feature film and it was just cool so 
what is the more exciting part in the movie? Like pa playing the bowling, fighting with other teens. What is the, the more the more motivation in this movie? Honestly, the people involved. That's if it was bad energy, then you know, be like, God, I can't wait to get out of here. But as soon as I'm over, it's just I, I don't mind sticking around, and everybody has. You know, there's not one bad link, so it all makes it fun and work out. And bowling's fun, you know, especially when you get the strike and, you know, it's, it's cool. Good. It's a good movie. You can't look. The movie's called The Strip. You need to check it out. Starring Tabby Bonet, D1, Murs, and all of us, the geeks. <laughs> Mr. George Corey, Tehran Von Gossery, Lee, I don't even know your last name. Colorfly. Lee you guys Persians. Anyway. Half Persian. I'm half Persian, half black. Lee's actually half Persian. Half Persian, Cherokee Indian, and Irish. And I'm Lebanese, but everyone calls me Persian Drake for yeah. some reason. So he's Persian, Persian by Persian. default. Persian, Persian by default. <laughs> what do you feel about that? You're Lebanese and say you're Persian. For me, it's a sense of endearment because there's a lot of Persians in Beverly Hills and they're all great people, so it's kind of their way of embracing me. So I, I don't mind it. You know? Persian's I'm hot in Hollywood unity. right now. It's Persian's hot in Hollywood, hot in Hollywood right now. You, you guys got to see the tweets this guy gets being Persian Drake, <laughs> and he's not even Persian or Drake. <laughs> Kind of weird. Hey, people confuse you for a lot of characters because you look like an under a lot of movies. I could play off a different, a lot of different looks. And I've acted as Israeli on the Mindy Project, NCIS coming up. I'll be playing an Israeli soldier. So I get these different roles where I have what they call in Hollywood an ethnically ambiguous look, which allows me to have different roles. So it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey, Terrence, tell, tell me something. Do you do any of your jokes that you do in the Love Factory here in the movie? Do you, are you doing that's Put the thing. Into it. When you get to improv, you get to be in character. If you come to my show at the Laugh Factory, you'll see that I have new material every week. Like, I come up with new things because I'm not so much of a comedian. I'm more of an observer or a philosopher. And I'm not funny. Life is funny. So I just talk about life. And in this movie, I got to play a part. And that part guided me towards a life that I would be, like this geek guy. And so because of that, we were able to improv. George and I were able to improv a scene that people are saying is one of the funniest scenes in the entire movie. And it was all improv, it was all just character. You, you the only guy. Off, what set it off though was really him pulling his tube socks over his jeans and the suspenders. Yeah. That was the icing on the cake. And see, the nerdy. thing about Lee is, Lee needs to turn down the sexy. Because yeah, yeah. he, yo, Calm he's just like, even in this, look at, look, come on, come on, show him, show him, show him. Let's show him, let's show him. Oh my God. Show him, come on, ah, don't be modest good. now. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look, and I'm not, it's not that. The rating is going to go up. Exactly. I'm not even that way. Like, I don't even go that way. But Lee, I'm like, hey. It's like, what? He's speaking for himself right now. <laughs> hey, George, um, can you give me where we can follow your Twitter, Instagram? Absolutely. You can follow me at Mr. George Corey on Twitter. I call him, I refer to myself as Mr. I've done a lot of steps to get here. George, G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, last name, K-H-O-U-R-I. That's on Twitter, Instagram, you can find me. I follow you. you? He's Mr. George Corey, K-H-O-U-R-I. He loves it when I spell his I last name. That, He's the only uh, one who can spell my last name. You can find me at Tehran Sopavaz, T-E-H-R-A-N-S-O-P-A-R-V-A-Z. And also check my website. And we have a website together, www.imperfectgentleman.com. It's a radio show. Uh, podcast and lifestyle show, so check that out. Oh my gosh, well. you guys are all over the but place. Tell everyone what So Parvaz means. It's not actually his last name, it's a special name. Parvaz in Farsi means fly, so I'm Tehran So Fly. Get it? Because I'm so fly. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. I give it to him. Okay. I like that. I like that. What are you telling me about the, the reality show that you do the sunset? Oh, Shaz the sunset? <laughs> oh, Shaz the sunset? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw no, you. Right I saw now. you. I saw you. Right now we're shooting. Are you really the boyfriend? Yo, no, that's the boyfriend. Was uh, I was the boyfriend. Things have changed, which you might you may see this season. Season three. Season three is gonna be crazy. Okay, a lot of drama. And look for the show Toronto Raj, which is gonna be its own entity, featuring myself, Mr. George Corey, and a lot of other characters, Saga, Sina, Tabby, Jenny, and uh, it's about our lives in Hollywood, like surrounded about us and. That's gonna be the next big hit, so look for that one too. I think we all the way. So, sexy Lee, tell me where we can follow you. Uh, I just Lee Colify, L E E K H O L A F A I. No dashes or uh, yeah, no dashes, anything, just straight. And um, the website too, www.leecolify.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys, for this interview. Can you say hi to Hollywood Life, please? Hi, Hollywood Life. Hello, Hollywood Life. We love you, Hollywood Life. Now we're going to do it with the nerd up? characters. You ready to say hi to Hollywood Life? 
<laughs> hi, hi, Hollywood, Hollywood life. Hi. <laughs> We're going to win the bowling tournament. The gigs. <laughs> and let's continue here with more Hollywood life. We're behind the scene in Mold Ducks movie. Not all heroes have superpowers. They can't fly or bend steel. Some heroes are just regular people doing regular everyday things. Get out of my shop, man. Week more. Pretty bad string of luck you've been having here lately. It's gonna be a shame we have to come and shut you down. What? We more put the entire strip up as collateral. We all about to lose our shop. Peeps, what are you kids doing? You said you needed money, right? Yeah. We're gonna raise the money up to save the big city. Make it rain. Oh my get your God. umbrella, get your umbrella. A shoebox, really? Are you sure it's gonna be safe in here? Ain't no amount of prayer in the world gonna help you find $20,000. Reverend. As long as it's out of their hand and in ours, we can go ahead with the plan. If all you need is $20,000, then why don't you just get it from Lois? There's a big sign there. They're giving out $20,000 for the winner of... You guys both? What's your team name? We obviously need a new plan, because we ain't winning no bowling tournament anytime soon. No, I know that. Hey, guys, you never put down a name for your fourth. Him? Whoa, whoa, wasn't me. Two strike! One! Two! I think we're ready. from any given Sunday. Oh, man. Oh, man. Lame. More dogs! 